President Biden back on the road after that dramatic State of the Union address. Not shying away from the Republican jeering and boos that dominated his speech. Many of you have seen we've had a spirited debate last night <laughs> with my Republican friend. My Republican friends. The president firing back at the Republicans who accused him of lying after he said some of them are targeting Social Security and Medicare for cuts. Marjorie Taylor Greene and others stood up and said, liar, liar. Rick Scott from Florida, the guy who ran the U.S. Senate campaign, has a plan. I got his brochure right here. Senator Rick Scott's proposal would sunset all federal legislation every five years unless Congress passes each law again. But Republican leaders insist cuts to Medicare and Social Security are off the table. President Biden seizing the moment Tuesday to get the GOP on the record. So, folks, as we all apparently agree, Social Security and Medicare is off the, off the books now, right? They're not to be stopped. The president heading to Florida today to deliver remarks on his plan to, quote, protect and strengthen Social Security and Medicare and lower health care costs. In Wisconsin yesterday, the focus was on his economic policies. The Biden economic plan is working. The president vowing to stay the course, touting a record low unemployment rate and inflation that appears to be cooling off. But as he urges Republicans to help him finish the job, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy criticizing Biden's rhetoric. I thought it was probably one of the most partisan State of the Union speeches I've ever heard. In the meantime, questions remain about whether President Biden will in fact run for president again in 2024. In a new interview, he says that is his intention, and he dismissed concerns that he would be 86 years old at the end of a second term. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.